Welcome back everybody, Jollibee here. Um, trying to survive our first night. Um, I secured myself a nice little temporary base here. And hopefully we are holed up well enough to last us for the night. I'm just gonna put in an extra layer. Um, wooden pikes Cause you can never be too sure Scrap metal that Looks like I may need to Ooh, rags I don't know what they do But it may come into use later. Cooking pot, I'll leave that there for now. Another cooking pot? I don't want to any water right now. Looks like they're coming into the corn area. I should be safe for the night. I do have a base. I can start mining from here. Any particular loot that I miss, I'll do this now. Looks like I'm pretty safe for the night. Maybe. It's still early, it's only 9 o'clock. So we won't celebrate just yet. We're just gonna get us some loot. Whatever we can get. Ooh, extra shotgun shells. Those are always handy. Water. I think our main trouble right now is food, which we lack. Pistols, that's always good. I hear him bashing something. Wait, I need to pick up this bed. This will be my fix spot. Oh, oh. I mean, it goes that way. Okay. We'll put it over here then. There you go. Okay, we'll destroy this. Um, from what I know, if you pick up a bed and you drop it, it will be your spawn point. I think. And when I die, I should spawn right where it is. Or at least in the general vicinity of. Well, looks like we're not gonna have any luck with finding food in this house. We are getting lots of shotgun shells. I think I'm gonna half it. Put it back in this chest. Box, more rag, I don't need a box, hardboard box. Pills is always good, I suppose. Don't really need that yet. Looks like the first wave is done. I'm gonna harvest this railings for some more scrap metal. Sure does collapse in a violent manner. Oops. I don't want to destroy the house. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Looks like the first wave has stopped. I don't really like this couch. So I'll just destroy it. I think we're gonna need to make more pikes. So we need a stick, sharpened stick. With that, we can make. <clears throat> I'm 
you make wood pikes. We use all these up for another layer of wood pikes. It seems like zombies started attacking my walls already. I need to buffer it up a bit. Oh, whoa! God! Put some pikes in there ASAP. So it seems like the pikes don't last very long. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't want to get hit. So they need to be frequently replaced all the time. Why is that one not going down? Stupid grass. Place that down. Just so I have a little peace of mind that I'm safe. Man, that corn or this them running to those fields looks like they're destroying it. That sound. This barricade's in my way. Let's get rid of that. I really need to find food. My food bar is already halfway. So far, no luck. All we got is water. That's not gonna help us much later. I believe we should be able to make torches. I think. Is there torches in this game? Torch, there you go, torch. I'm assuming it's a stick and a rag or cloth. Cloth rag. I only really need 124. So we will we'll go easy. Five of the cloth. Five of the sticks. And we get 20 torches. There you go. From what I can understand, light slows down the enemy. So if I put torches around, it would slow them down. Oh, I want that back. My OCD will go nuts for now. But for now, I'm just gonna put it. In. Whoa! So I guess it's brighter when I have my torches out, or is it because it's in my hand? But it's still eliminating the place. Not as dark. Seems like the zombies has breaks because they're not always attacking constantly. And these couches are dropping me some scrap metal and wood. Can't complain there. Looks like my first layer of pikes are falling apart. I don't want to do that. Pick it up, pick it up. I don't want to step on it and kill myself. It's never a good time. Yeah, it looks like the first layer is gone. So I would I would need a constant supply of wood. To get myself defended for the night. I think there's nothing in this box, so we're gonna destroy it. This one seems like it needs an extra layer. I mean, just, you know, why not? This side. Ah! Ah! This is why you need to be careful. <laughs> Ah, uh, so once we die, I think we lose all our items in our inventory. Oh look, we spawn right next to our dead body. Cause I think, oh, so we don't spawn exactly on the bed, but at least we are near the bed. And we didn't lose much of our items. I think we can still recover them. Or at least most of them. Okay, we gotta be more careful placing these things. This game shouldn't even be letting us drop items on our feet. It's very dangerous that way. <laughs> but again, this is still in alpha, so there's gonna be lots of bugs and needs to be tweaked a bit. 
overall it's still an addicting game since from what I got it so we'll just get our pike our pikes wooden pikes back and this time we'll be a little bit more careful of placing these things it's 2 in the morning and it seems like the zombies have stopped coming already I think they're gonna come back Guess we shall see, but as for now, we will sit comfortably in our home and wait patiently. I'm gonna leave that for now. I think the auger is a drill, so it should be good for defense. I'm gonna leave the shotgun there. Magazine ammo, and I think. Nogger is like a chainsaw, so it's gonna need gas. So we'll put the gas there. We'll hold on to the potato seeds. What other storage I got in here? <coughs> Alright, we'll take this water. We'll use this one to hold miscellaneous goods like books, papers, and hubcaps. Use this one to hold construction materials like painted pole block, pole block. Since we have so much water, we'll put the water in the fridge, you know, keep it cool. Seems like there's still electricity at this point in time. As you can see, with, I can see some lights outside where some of the houses are so it should be fine but the torches will also do us good for now I wanna place that one higher there you go let's see some quiet down Well, at least since we died from that unfortunate misplacement <laughs> of that wooden pipe, our food bar is up for now. So we should be able to survive long enough. That we can go scavenge us some food during the daytime. It's almost daytime. It's 4 a.m. I think it gets bright around 7 in the morning. So we should be good. I'm just gonna bash down this little divider wall so then I have more free range and I can see better inside this house. I think I'm gonna hold up in this house and I'm gonna use the basement to mine and get some materials I think if this is like similar to Minecraft we should be able to find us some iron and all the other precious metals to help us craft and fortify our place from what I noticed the blue bar is our stamina and the lower the stamina the weaker our hits are with this fire axe because earlier at full bar I can down these things in one hit. So I'm gonna take a break. Let that go. I wonder why if I drink water it'll make it go up. No it does. So drinking some kind of liquid will bring my stamina back up. Since I don't have a steady source of water, I'm gonna save my water for now. I don't really know how to get water. Do I go to a river? Do I need to boil it? Dude! So many things to do and learn! I don't know, a few wonders are playing a new game like this one. Well, it looks like zombies won't be bothering me for now. So I should be able to head out. I don't like boxes, it looks too ghetto. Out. I wonder if I can craft myself some nightstands. Those looks nice. 
More water. Oh, food! I got lamb. Lamb ration ratio. Whatever you want to say it. <laughs> lamb in a can. That has to be good for you. Destroy that cardboard. I think on my nightstand I should put in my flashlight. Why not? Got the pills. I don't know what cobwebs do. What do they do? Where can I place these cobwebs? Whoa. <laughs> A cobweb block? <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, it slows me down. So that should slow down zombies too then. Okay. Yeah, maybe have, we can use that for later. Put that in this gun. That's my weapon. We'll put it on the nightstand. How about that? Ball torch. Take this pistol. I so didn't take the pistol. Take the pistol as my backup weapon. Kinda. So these items in here won't be loot, won't be lost when we die. So that's handy. Put the cobweb next to the flashlight. So our goal is. I'm gonna set up our goal. Our daytime goal would be. Raid this big suburban area or city. I think. Suck up on food. Come back, fortify some more, and hopefully survive the second night. So we'll go do that on our next episode. See you guys later.